Hello fellow humans and welcome to the Madhouse. I'm Josh and today as part of Vlogmas 2016 I'm doing the Joy of Christmas tag because I can and why not? <laughs> I saw this and figured why the hell not do it because I like Christmas, I like things, I like joy and stuff and just yeah why not. Number one and two sip. Patient. The Christmas excitement is real. What book release are you most anticipating? To be honest I don't really know that many books that are due to come out in 2017. I don't tend to look until the start of the year or at least until after Christmas because I need to do something to take my mind off the food baby I'll certainly be brewing because I'm an excellent cook and I'm making a lot of Christmas dinners at the moment. Uh. But there is one that I have been recommended because it's LGBT plus section and it's supposed to be similar to We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson and that is History Is All You Left Of Me by Adam Silvera and the Goodreads summary thing, uh, synopsis, that's the word I was looking for is when Griffin's first love and ex-boyfriend Theo dies in a drowning accident, his universe implodes. Even though Theo has moved to California for college and started seeing Jackson, Griffin never doubted Theo would come back to him when the time was right. But now, the future he's been imagining for himself has gone far off course. To make things worse, the only person who truly understands his heartache is Jackson. But no matter how much they open up to each other, Griffin's downward spiral continues. He's losing himself in his obsessive compulsions and destructive choices, and the secrets he's been keeping are tearing him apart. If Griffin is to ever rebuild his future, he must confront his history, every last heartbreaking piece in the puzzle of his life. And I don't know about you, but that sounds exactly like a cup of tea. Number two, Christmas songs and carols. What book or author can you not help but sing its praises? And, well, you already know the answer to this, it is Terry Pratchett, I have an obsession. That's all I need to say, I've made a lot of videos on the subject. Number three, gingerbread houses. And I'm afraid I have absolutely nothing funny to say about that one, unless you count that meme that's all over the place, you know. A gingerbread man sits in a gingerbread house. Is he made of house or is his house made of flesh? He weeps because he does not know. Sorry, that was my David Attenborough impression and it's terrible. And I will never do that to you again. I am very, very sorry. The question is, what book or series has wonderful world building? And let's face it, you know there are many I could say. I could easily rattle off Discworld or Harry Potter. But I've decided I'm going to go for one. Well, I have mentioned on my channel several times, but it's not one I talk about as much as I think it probably deserves. Mortal Engines, the entire quartet, in fact, by Philip Reeve. It's set in the far, far future where the world has practically been destroyed and a new civilization has risen up from the ashes. And that civilization is one of traction cities, that is, cities that are on wheels and they travel around trying to eat the smaller cities. And it's a very fascinating concept and very believable. The mechanical principles involved are quite valid. The um, ideas of municipal Darwinism work and the way in which everything is organised is logical and potentially could happen and that's why it's quite scary. And I reckon pretty much anybody would enjoy losing themselves in this world. Bah humbug! Number four, A Christmas Carol. Your favourite classic or one that you want to read? Well there are a few classics that I want to read again, in fact next week I have to read more of Thomas Mallory's uh, Le Morte um, d'Arthur. My favourite classic is probably A Christmas Carol. I adore it and yes I am going to do my reading of it and I will turn it into an audiobook type thing for you. I will specifically record it and upload it and you can listen to it as much as you want in my pretty voice. Number 5. Christmas Sweets. What book would you most like to receive for Christmas? And to be honest there aren't that many of those but there is one that I know I am getting for Christmas because my grandmother specifically asked me what do you want and said okay right I'll go out and buy that tomorrow and it is Harry Potter and Ch the Chamber of Secrets the pretty illustrated edition to match the other one I've got on the shelf behind me and well 
it's supposed to be just very, very pretty. And these are the editions where if I have children, I will want to read those to them because it's the same story with the same beautiful words, but with beautiful pictures to accompany it. And that's ideal for children. And I would very much like to again, if and if I have kids, not a when, if, because let's face it, I am not the most paternal of people. I'm not the most warm and affectionate person you could possibly hope to find. And that's what I want because Harry Potter should be a part of a child's life. It, the impact it had on me was phenomenal. Number six, Candles in the Window. What book gives you a warm and fuzzy feeling inside? And there are many I could choose from. I've already mentioned some in several videos, I'm sure, in Vlogmas already. But I'll say it again. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as narrated by Stephen Fry because his voice is fantastic. Harry Potter itself gives me that warm feeling, but Fry's narrations are even better for that. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches? Number seven, Christmas tree and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? Now, I've mentioned this quite frequently, but I really like the Discworld books. But my absolute favourites are probably those of the Long Earth series, because they're absolutely gorgeous with and without the dust jackets. Though, I'm also very fond of these Virginia Woolf books I got a few weeks ago, because just look at how pretty they all are. They're lovely! Number eight, Christmas joy. Joy to the world. I don't know the line, and no, oh, do I really care? <laughs> what are some of your favourite things about Christmas and or some of your favourite Christmas memories? My favourite thing about Christmas itself is probably now getting my family together and probably also pigs in a blanket. Why is that only Christmas food? It's just chipolata sausages wrapped in bacon. Well, well, it doesn't have to be chipolatas, but that's the common one. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to make some this weekend, but not just wrapped in bacon. I'm going to bake them in maple syrup. And they're going to be absolutely divine. But my favourite Christmas memory itself also happens to be my favourite memory in general. You may remember I talked about that in my Finding Your Patronus video. And it made me so incredibly happy. When I was, what, four, five, six years old? I was very young anyway, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head now. But um, we went out on Christmas Day to the park with my grandparents, my parents, my little brother, my dog, and we just played for hours and it was fun. We went up and down the slides and things, throwing snow. Uh, we built snowmen, made snow angels, and it was fun. It's the last time I can remember having had a white Christmas. At least a really white Christmas and spending the day in the snow to really have some fun with it. With the whole family together, everyone I loved and cared about. It makes me feel really, really good. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that video and if you did, please let me know and like, share and subscribe. And also, if you are doing Vlogmas or fairly frequent videos during the month of December and you're running out of ideas, you're tagged. And I think that's all, so I'm going to have to go now because I am in a very uncomfortable position right here. I'm squatting a lot so I can actually fit on the camera and my neck is hurting and I'm falling slightly off the side of the bed. So until next time then, Merry Christmas and Tatty Vice.